Before we begin, there are a couple of things that we need to prepare. White A4 papers, pencils, HB for making light lines, and 2B for the darker lines and shades. A warm yellow, orange, and brown color pencil. A fine black marker, an eraser, a pencil sharpener and bowl for the scraps. A smudger. We'll begin by drawing a very light line at the center of the paper with the HB pencil. It will help us to balance the pendant. Then we design our leaf shape with very light lines and loose movements using the HB pencil, making sure that the top and the bottom of the leaf are aligned with the center line. Now we add a long bail at the top, aligned with the center line. This way, we're sure that the pendant will hang straight. In fine and high jewelry, bales are always nicely integrated with the design of the pendants. And most exclusive brands have movement between the bale and the body of the pendant, either by pinning or linking them together. Now that we're happy with the shapes, we erase the strokes that we don't need. Before beginning to render, we'll set the light source to come from the top right corner. Then we take the 2B pencil and reinforce the lines, keeping them darker on the opposite side of the light source. The bale will have round white diamonds, and with the HB pencil, we'll make very light circles in the center. And then add little prongs on the sides to hold the stones. We'll leave a fine empty space on each side of the stones, and then reinforce the spaces with two fine lines. Since the diamonds are really small, We'll just draw expressions of facet lines on the side opposite the light source. The leaf will be in flat yellow high shine gold with rounded edges. We'll begin by drawing a line with a brown pencil, following the silhouette of the leaf, keeping it darker on the opposite side of the light source. Then we draw a straight S shape across the center and blend it with the outline. Now we take the yellow pencil and start to build up a warm shade, keeping it darker next to the S shape and the opposite side of the light source. Then we add a yellow shade next to the brown outline, making sure that the shading is faded. And we're going to leave a little bit of white near the edges to give the impression of reflective light. The top of the leaf also needs a bit of yellow. And we leave the center fading into white next to the S shape.
Now we're going to take the orange pencil and add a medium shade between the dark brown and the yellow. Now it's time to make the pendant pop. Now we take the smudger and blend the colors until we have a smooth effect. Now we turn the smudger around and fade the shadows. It's important not to use the side you used for the colors, since it will make your shadows look yellowish and dirty. As a last step, we take the black marker and reinforce the darkest areas very delicately. And our pendant is done! You can use this same rendering technique to illustrate basically any flat high shine metal shape. So let's have a look at the important takeaways to do it successfully. Develop your silhouettes with loose expressive movements and light lines until you're happy with them. Then erase the lines you don't need. If you start off with a stiff hand, worry to make mistakes. Your sketches will look stiff and uneasy. Determine the light source and put a drop shadow under the shapes on the opposite side. The dark S shape in the center is key. Fade your colors, let them blend together. Leave highlights on the edges and at the top center above the S shape. Color pencils will take the edge out of your dark gray pencil lines, so a fine black marker will add that extra punch to make your sketches pop. 